Hey, good morning. And well, not a very good morning, especially if you're watching the situation in Afghanistan. As is the case with the Biden administration, his uh, vacation to Camp David for the week and Wilmington has been abruptly cut short and he is inbound on the way back to Washington right now. So we're gonna go down, check that out. And we're also gonna check out some other scenes around the city. Let's go take a look at the Afghan embassy. Uh, maybe Marine One is coming in over the Tidal Basin. There's the backup and decoy, or the staff helicopters. So he's back in the White House. He's got a speech in about two hours. I'm gonna swing out over to the Pentagon and get a hamburger. That's uh, a good place to get a burger. And we'll also give us a look to see what the Pentagon looks like today. In the old days, you used to be able to judge how intense the world situation was by the Pentagon parking lot. That's changed a bit since COVID, but uh, we used to be able to like, like the night before the United States invaded Panama, um, the amount of helicopter traffic to the Pentagon was unheard of. It was like 5x normal. All night long, that's all we heard was uh, helicopters coming in and out of the Pentagon. And then the next morning, it turns out U.S. troops had gone into Panama. <laughs> so one of, those, one of those ways to monitor the current world situation through observation. Ah, so the park has reopened now that the president has returned. And let's turn over here, get a little view of the South Lawn. See why the South Lawn was closed. The South Lawn was closed for helicopter operations, so they had to land at Fort McNair, which is way over there where I tried to show you guys the other day, but it was so dang hot and I gave up. But that's where they came back to today. And let's cross over here. Boy, there's a lot of geese out there. Is it beginning to be fall already? August? Is that geese time? I thought geese didn't come till later. Okay, let's see what's going on on the south lawn. We still have this uh, tarp that's up here. Oh, wow, we've got a digger, which I call the digger, but you guys corrected me and said, no, no, that's an excavator. But that's a big bucket loader type thing. Oh, my God, the, the cement has come back onto the south lawn. So the big a bunch of Jersey barriers have returned to the south lawn and some digging going in. Looks like they're lowering down something there. And then of course the lawn up there is under major renovation. Let's get the other, you know what, let's get the other camera out. The other camera has a better zoom. Oh, so that's one of those big Jersey wall picker upper thingies. So they're putting up a Jersey wall down here on the south lawn or they're removing one. bit closer now. So they're building some sort of Jersey wall. In the background you can see a bunch of land maintenance cars like ground screw. There's that generator we saw the other day. So they're doing something down here now. Something new. And this is the uh, fenced in area we can't see. Don't want to ruin the photos for all the tourists. Hmm more scaffolding or fencing arriving on this guy's truck or what vehicle whatever that is 
I will say this, they, they still got a lot of work going on. I can see why the helicopter didn't come in. Um, I do see the limos up there, the ones that we just saw. Okay, let's spin out of here and spin back over to our, get closer to the Pentagon. This project is on per permanent hold. It doesn't look like anything's ever being done out here. Maybe they're just waiting for Christmas. That's true, we are closer to Christmas 2021 than we are Christmas 2022 now. So, just let it be, I guess. Uh, so, let's spin down here. And it's a, it rained earlier today. It's not scheduled to rain the rest of the day, but every day this week has rain in the forecast. Boy, there's all those geese. Well, I have a lot of geese. Let's go find a place to drop this bike. Oof. So we're down on the Washington Monument grounds. Gray sky kind of day. This thing got clobbered by lightning the other day in that lightning storm that we had. But apparently that's a relatively common thing when we do have lightning in D.C. The Washington Monument does get struck pretty frequently. There's a lot of cool photos on Twitter. Let's see if I can find one posted for you. So this is the Afghanistan Embassy. The flag is still flying overhead, but uh, who knows for how long, whether we recognize or accept the new government. <sighs> Lots of vehicles there. Imagine it's having some tough conversations. What do they do next? 